Almost everybody. No. Uh, all right, all right. I'll tell it quickly if I can. Anyway, I've been in love with Rhonda Fleming ever since I can remember. And everybody knows who she is. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous, red-headed actress. Uh, well, uh, you know, fortunately on the series uh, Wagon Train, we had great guest stars. And uh, one day I heard that uh, my next leading lady uh, guest star was going to be Rhonda Fleming, and I was going to have love scenes with her. I'd actually get to kiss Rhonda Fleming. Well, <clears throat> I was very excited about that and very happy, and Rhonda was a doll. She came on the set, and we worked for a few days together doing, you know, different scenes. And she was playing a dance hall hostess in the show, and every costume that she wore was very, very low cut. And if you all remember Rhonda, she had beautiful eyes. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. <laughs> so it was, you know, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> she had these great low cut outfits on her. We have this particular scene that we're going to do together where uh, she is trying to seduce me into uh, helping to get her daughter's husband out of, out of prison. And we're in the dress, her dressing room on the set, uh, you know, and uh, we're behind, uh, you know, where she's appearing. And it's just a short scene, probably a page, page and a half, the two of us, 50-50, uh, looking at each other. And, uh, and then I, I, I kiss her, and it's all over with, cut, and we go home that night. And the next day, uh, we're working on the set, and uh, the uh, producer uh, calls me, and he says, Bob, he said, uh, I want you to come up and look at the dailies. Uh, at lunchtime today, and the dailies are what we shot the day before. Everybody gets to see it, and they never ask the actors to go up and look at it for obvious reasons. But uh, so I couldn't understand why they wanted me to go in the projection room at lunchtime and see a scene that I shot. So anyway, we go there, and it's just myself and the two producers, uh, Fred Shore and Red Christie, and they sit behind me, and they say, "Roll it." And we're in this big, huge projection room, and on the screen comes this scene between Rhonda and myself. And it didn't take but about three seconds to see the reason, because I never once looked at this woman in the face. <laughs> we the whole scene, and I said, honest to God, the whole scene was like this. And I realized, oh my God, this is terrible. I said, what, what are we going to do? And they said, what, what do you mean we're going to do? We have to shoot the scene over again. And I said, well, oh my God. I said, well, what are you going to tell Rhonda? the reason why we have to shoot this scene over. And they said, we're going to tell her exactly what we And I said, no, you can't do that. I said, you know, that's terrible. You can't do that to me. He said, we're doing it. We're going on the set right now and tell her that we have to shoot it over and the reason why. So they took off from the projection room, headed for the set, and uh, I hung back. I said, oh, I don't even want to walk on that set now. I had to go back to work. So I, I hung back about 10 minutes and when I arrived, they were leaving the set, and they just walked by me. They didn't say a word. They were gone, and I walked on, and I tried to avoid Rhonda for the rest of the afternoon. And I stayed on the other side of the set, so I didn't even see her. But finally, she caught my eye, and I looked at her, and she went. <laughs> and I thought, oh, my God, here it comes. What am I going to do? What am I going to say? And I walked up to her, and I said, Rhonda, I, I'm so sorry. I just, she said, don't be sorry. I'm happy to do that scene again, and I'd love to kiss you one more time. <laughs> right, what a woman. A professional actress and a great star. To, uh, to do that. To a young actor who, uh, who really goofed up. <laughs> and you're still blushing. <laughs>